<clears throat> Good morning, Macam Cabby here once again. <clears throat> Wednesday, the twentieth of March, five to twelve. A cloudy, mildish day at the day. So then, once again, we're on the managerial merry-go-round, aren't we? Bucky's are saying now, Roy Keane's going to be the favourite, or is the favourite, to take over next season. I mean, what's happened to Neil Warnock? I was reading posts all over the place about Neil Warnock coming in till the end of the season. You know, you, you feel like you just, you'll get more sense watching um, North Enders, East Enders, we should be called North Enders. God's sake, the drama that gets gets told and this and that and the other but I don't know why the, the, the focus on, on Roy Keane because I mean the way the club is with the model he's, he's not going to take it it's just, it's just not going to so I don't know where they get the idea of that from but once again with all the, the talk and chat about KLD selling and this and that and the other and now people saying oh because he's doing the stadium up we're getting safe stand and put in um, yeah yippee he's staying now <clears throat> how, how does that prove that he's actually staying could it be the fact like it's you know when you, you do your house up before you sell to get as much money money back as possible a lot of people are saying he could be doing that just the, just the fact like because everything's getting refurbished with the stadium but nothing is mentioned with the team which I said about yesterday's video so if he, if he wants to sell and away he went and got a nice profit for the stadium as well it's part of the whole package would I be happy with Roy Keane? me personally I would Because we had a, he, he, did, he, he must admit he did all right for us. He just wasn't given the, the funding when we were in the Prem. But we had a cracking championship season. And it would be a massive improvement for the crap coaches we've had. Apart from Tony Mowbray. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt for obvious reasons because we had a really good season. But I think he'd be the ideal appointment next season if that's what they're saying but Roy Keane would only come back if KLD weren't here <clears throat> or if he was still here and they massively changed the model perspective but on the top of the list they're still going on about Kano that will still um, who else is it? Scott Parker. They seem to be like the top three. But they need to do some sooner than later because these games are running out quick. They really, really are. I mean, for Sun and fans out there, who would you like? Who would you like for for next season? Because, I mean, they keep odds this person's taken over. and that, You know what it's like. Um, but that is the latest post that it's Roy Keane is, is the favourite now with, with bookies. Or with this cas casino bookie, whatever you call it is. That he's favourite for next season. I mean, it does make you wonder where they get <coughs> these sources from. Because, I mean, I'm just telling you by what I, what I read. Right, it's it's not like I'm not just making stuff up. You know, people say to me, "Oh, cabby, you talk a lot of bog trotter and trailer trash." It's like, well, I'm just finding the news, and I'm just I'm just giving you what I'm what I'm um, what I'm seeing. So, his name's been mentioned how many times? Quite a few times, hasn't it? On off, on off, on off, and I'm still seeing more positive. Um, reaction from the fans that they would like him back.
Now, I did post in a video as well that um, apparently we're not mathematically safe from relegation. I'll have to have a look at the table. So if there's, if there's any Carol Vordermans out there and they, they're good at maths and stuff, how many points does Sunderland need then to stay up? I'll let you have a look. I'll let you have a look because I'll be driving round all over the place. That's your homework today. Have a look. And how many then? Sun, how many points does Sunderland need to secure um, championship survival? Have a look for that and uh, let us know what you what you find. Because it's all right, you know. I mentioned in the stadium and talking about managers. But if we're still not mathematically safe, you know what I mean? It's, it's going to look pretty funny having a really glistening, st nice new stadium in, in League One, isn't it? Anyway, let us know in your comments. I'm only four subscribers away from 2,000 subscribers, and that would make my day if I reached that today. What a milestone that would be. Um, thanks every single one of you who's followed and liked, shared the page, whatever, subscribed. It's been, it's been great. Um, I'm looking forward to loads more. So yeah, let us know in your comments well, what I've just said. Have a great day, folks.